it's done. nice and perfect. You see, the, you see, you need a little bit of black in your food. That's what makes the flavor taste better. Oh, uh, yeah. Go to the school and who um, preach at the school. Um, reasons to kind of like single out my daughter and basically tell her like she going to hell and that was the first call but the second call she damn near was crying i'm not saying that i know everything because i do not one thing i do know is that it would have been some destruction it would have been some destructiveness if i would have been in knoxville I forgot to update y'all. We've been at the pool for probably about an hour and a half now. Y'all, I couldn't do it. I couldn't just go home. And we know that all things work together for good to those who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8 to 8. I'm just popping in before I get ready to head out to meet my cousin for a few drinks. I'm putting on one of my oils that I get from my brother because you guys know this is the base layer to my fragrance. Fragrance is a part of my identity at this point and I have a whole technique when it comes to smelling this good. Fragrances are what make my day and I love a top tier compliment. And one of my most complimented things is how good I smell, okay? I get that compliment every time I go out. So, which brings me to this point. I want to thank Scentbird for partnering with me and sponsoring this portion of today's video. You guys know that Scentbird is a subscription-based fragrance company. You guys, I love them. I've worked with them so many times. And they offer you perfumes that you can get. And you can get the sample size bottle. Instead of being committed to a full size bottle, you can try it before you buy it. I love Scentbird. One of the things that I love about Scentbird is that it comes in these really cute travel size cases you can actually remove the vial from the case so you can see how much um, perfume you have inside of your bottle and as you can see they send you a pretty generous amount of perfume this one is the Montel lucky candy and I cannot wait to smell this y'all you can pop it right back in and click the case and it's locked in place basically and so this part right here what you see on the front this is where you can twist it and you twist to lock and unlock the spray part and when you unlock it you just press it down and look at how it projects ah, i love it so much it's easy to throw this inside of your purse throw it inside of your um pocketbook put it in your car you can take this wherever when you're traveling and you know you can't take your big bottles of fragrances you have this that you can take with you and i already get a whiff of that so we're gonna get into what these fragrances smell like we're gonna go over um just a couple of them that they sent me and then you guys know they come with these information cards that tell you what the fragrance is. It shows you what the full bottle of the fragrance looks like, as well as on the back of the info, of the info card, it has the notes. And um, you can scan this to learn more about it online. So it tells you about the fragrances, what the notes are, what the ingredients are, and I absolutely love that. Um, if you are interested in ordering any of the fragrances from Scentbird, scan this QR code right here or check the description box for my link to Scentbird.com and use my coupon code LILY55 to get 55% off your first order. And you'll get free delivery to your door and a free case, okay? That's just a little bit over $8 for your first order. So let's get into these fragrances, okay? Okay, so the first one that I'm gonna try today is called the Maker Lover. So it's in this little blue case right here. The Maker Lover is an auto perfume. It's a hypnotic woody scent inspired by true intimacy, featuring notes of creamy sandalwood, luscious fig, and sparkling batiba, layered with jasmine song and a rosin arousing oud both grounded and magnetic this fragrance appeals to all genders to evoke the unrelenting bond between two lovers so y'all this got fig vetiva jasmine sunbok oud and sandalwood absolutely love me some sandalwood love some oud 
So I'm excited to really smell this scent. I'm not gonna spray it on me because I don't know what I want to wear out yet, but I'm gonna spray it on this book. Okay. And I'm ready to smell it. I'm ready to sniff it. Oh my gosh. This is right up my alley. It's woody. So if you guys want to know what type of scents I love, I love sweet. I love woody. Like things with sandalwood, with bergamots, things with ouds. Those are really sexy fragrances to me. And I really love that. This is a deep fragrance. So it almost gives you like a masculine feel, but it's very feminine at the same time. It's sexy. And I can't wait to smell this on the dry down. Yes. This one is called the maker lover the maker lover the maker lover love this so okay boom we're gonna check that out so the next one that i want to try is mascara paris it's a roses vanilla so you guys know that i love anything with vanilla so i'm really hoping that i love this scent because i wanted to try it out before i buy it most of these that i got right here are ones that i want to try out before i commit to the big bottle and that's one of the things that i love about scentbird you do not have to risk the commitment before purchasing a big bottle of something you can sample it see if you like it wear it a few times let it soak in with your uh, or mix in with your natural pheromones and then you can go from there okay so this one says sweet enough to capture you rich enough to keep you and complex enough to seduce you roses vanilla is an absolute standout and one of the sexiest floral gourmands you've ever smelled baby they better live up to it because i'm ready to smell it you hear me so let me see i'm ready they said sweet enough to capture you rich enough to keep you and complex enough to seduce you you sound like you're trying to be my person okay um an absolute standout one of the sexiest gourmands you've ever smelled okay Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all. This smells so good. So it's definitely a gourmand scent. Sexy. Powerful. You smell the vanilla. This has vanilla, white musk, cedarwood, Turkish delight rose, and lemon. I get all of those. A lot of the cedarwood is standing out to me and the white musk honestly but i feel like mixed on my skin when it's dry down it's so sexy and okay it could be over there in the family with the delina because you know that has like that marshmallow type smell but this is sexy i'm, I'm this is so sexy this is so sexy love this love this love this love it i'm so happy about my new fragrances um if i wouldn't have on so much right now i would wear these out okay the thing is that their selection is diverse and you have flexibility to choose before committing to a full-size bottle they also have fragrances from popular brands like Prada and Versace, but also more niche labels like Parfum de Mali and Raja. You also get a 30-day supply of each fragrance, so that gives you enough time to fully experience the scent and even find your signature scent. Their quiz encourages you to experiment with fragrances and offers personalized suggestions based on your preferences. So that way you can deepen your knowledge of perfumery through Sitbird Academy Masterclass, an immersed video course about fragrances in collaboration with Joe Malone. So yeah, dolls, I'm about to get ready to head out, but I'm smelling good, I'm looking good, I'm feeling good. If you guys are interested in Scentbird, make sure you click the QR code right here on the screen or check the link down in the description box. Use my my code lily55 to get 55% off your order okay i love you guys let's get into the vlog period what up to my dolls i only want to leah also known as lydia truly and welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new and hey to my babies if you are true you guys welcome to another daily vlog it is monday june 10th it's 12 11 we got so much that we got to do, but right now, Bryce Bud just came in my room. He hungry. He ready for some breakfast. I had grilled yesterday. I had grilled some hot dogs and some fish kebabs. But um, he won't. I bought. I be having to make sure I keep them some sausage because for some reason, the kids have been loving 
fried sausage in the morning. <laughs> so he finna try to cook his own today. I watched my, my, my sister do it. He says he watched, yes, yeah, he watched his sister do it. Put some socks on since you don't got no house shoes. And I'm just finna sit there and find out for him. Mm. And he finna, um, do try it, do. to cook. Chef yeah. Bryce. Chef Bryce. Yeah. Call me Chef Bryce. It's dirty. The pan that he needs to cook in is dirty. 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 Oh, yeah. And with, on our new LMG channel, we should do cooking videos too. You want to do cooking videos on the LMB channel? Yeah, we should do cooking videos. What do y'all think about that? Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, what you think about that? Bryce said, what y'all think about that? Yeah. Should we do pranks? <laughs> Should we do cooking videos? That's what you want to do? That's what I want to do. We should do that. Oh, that's a dirty thing. was June the 5th we thought it was June the 9th which I don't know why I thought it was June the 9th because that was a Sunday that was yesterday so I'm gonna get ready to go over here to the orthodontist and they gonna have to see her because I don't understand what's been going on with them so that was her, well, her dad was calling to check up on to see um what the balance is or for the other payment or whatever and Bryce we're gonna go ahead and use this one okay instead so wash the sausage off and now we got our knife and Bryce is about to uh, cut it up. Mm -hmm. Pick it up. Thumb. Maybe thumb. Remember I told you about the finger? Like that. Yeah. Um, cut. Be careful because it'll sling off. Yes, baby. I think I just said 20. 20 what? That's too big. Points. Look. It was either. You had 20 points? Uh, I, think I, don't know. I, I think I was right there. See how my fingers down like this? I gotta wash it in. What was this game at? Oh, this was this weekend? No, that's right now. this Saturday. You just had a game this morning? Yeah. That's where that bruise came from? Yeah. Move, Ice. Ice, move! I didn't ask you to be here. Making me nervous. Yeah, but ball it up. But hold it, but pinch it, yes. Take your time. Slide it over. Yes. Mm -hmm. Move. Get out the kitchen. He's sitting there hoping and praying that he dropped one. You don't need the whole thing if you ain't gonna eat it. So when you get done with those two pieces that have, then we're gonna put it up. Oh gosh, we're back curtain. Bag. Oh yeah, tell me. Oh, yesterday we was on the bed. Um, for three, three more times. And so they won. Yeah. What was the score? Thirty-nine to twenty-one. Yeah. Thirty-nine to twenty-one. Yeah. 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 Yeah
You see, I turned this on high. Mm -hmm. Come on. Y'all look how big Saturn they got. You can't even tell because he balled up. He's still sleepy though. Mm -hmm. Butter. Mm -hmm. He had came out because he seen I turned the light on. I know that's probably boring. He just be in there all day sleep. I mean, that's what they do. Yeah. Yeah, I saw this one. We did it. And where his heart at? Mom, I think his heart shedded or something. His oh no, heart? it's right here. They got a heart? Oh yeah, they don't. No, he got a, a heart on his uh it's right there. He got dirt on my hand. He got bigger Move though. Move ice. Move. Forget. Hit the scissors. Good. Now, they scratching all up on me. You can't Why do you use butter? That's what I use the garlic butter. Oh, I use the pan. Oh. Who scratched you? The people. And I'm like, how did your knee open my knee? You need to put peroxide and alcohol on it. She's talking about the people. <laughs> so who was y'all playing today? Hope County and Okay. Mix. That's all playing your salt. In Mix County. No, we need that. We played two games. We played at 9 o'clock in the morning. Turn it down. down. We, we played at 9 o'clock in the morning and at 10 o'clock. Oh, and we'll play again tomorrow, but it's not early. It's going to pop out. It's not going to pop. Drop it on there. Yes. It it's hot. Go ahead. Put them all in there. Yes. Don't drop it like that. Then it's going to pop. Nice. Play, try. Play, play. Yes. Look at him. He thought he drank on it. Can we flip them too? Yeah, he hoping and praying that he dropped one. I be giving him the end part. That that part over there. Oh yeah, he all right. He had enough. But he be over there playing with. It. Yeah. yeah, he be playing with. His food. He had scared me. Y'all was cooking. He just barked. No way. Come on. You can't be scared of a little butter. You taking too long to put down? Put down. Put them in there. Right. Right. We need to drop it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're gonna let them cook a little bit. Probably about four. About two, two three. No, I don't even think. I don't time it. I just. Yeah, they will be there until it's a little burn. burn. Yeah, I do that. And I then will. you'll flip them over. Okay, I did it. When they get a little thing. Stand back because it might pop. Yeah. I need to brush it. I ain't got to pop in my stomach one time because I was in here cooking for a Look how long my hair is. Yeah, I just it is warm. You're going to get some twists. We Bryce wants some twists, y'all. So we're going to be giving him some twists. My red twist already sweated out. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, we got that game. Come on. What's that? Mm. It's not really though. Okay, then. Okay. Right, well, now. we'll be back because we got stuff to do today. Watching and doing is two different things. True? Yes. Still back song. Okay. I get it now. It's the one that's still back song. Not that far. Not this far? Yes. That's the pop. I'm not. Stop on the old sauce of this. Come on, you can use the fork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. One more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So they can cook that too? Mm -mm. That's the other sauce. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll put it in mm -hmm. Look at them sizzling. 
I don't know if I like garlic butter or not, but I'm gonna try it. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. <laughs> I hope. Be careful because you got a hungry, hungry hippo down there waiting on you to drop one. Yeah, yeah, I know. As soon as I drop one, he's gonna come charging. Lot. Mm -hmm. He's okay, quiet and scheming. We are almost done. Mm -hmm. What age did y'all start letting y'all kids cook? I know some people start younger. But what age did y'all let them cook on the stove, unsupervised? And did y'all start teaching y'all kids how to cook? Or did they just naturally pick it up? What? Do I think I should have started cooking when I was in the womb, personally. <laughs> I think I should have then started cooking. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. Girl, oh, that's a good yeah. table. That's a good scissor. And I'm focusing on this one. You can still not cook. This one is cooked. Oh, that was so close. Huh. That was close. We got this, we got this, we got this, yeah. I'm cooking. You're cooking. You're cooking cook. your breakfast. No breakfast. Let him cook! <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes the flavor taste better. Oh uh, yeah. You you're learning from the 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 OG. Okay. The blacker the better sometimes. <laughs> the big bright for the kids and you know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one should be done. Like that. Mm -hmm. For the audience. Don't drop it, guys. Oh, he's right above me. <laughs> Below. Mm -hmm. I mean below. You see this? You see this, y'all? You see that black on it? That's how you know it's gonna add the flavor. You hear me? Let him cook! <laughs> this one probably cooking. This one's Oh, this one's good. Alright. We done? Mm -hmm. Alright, and it's time to transport your pan from the stove to the sink. Turn on your water. Power. Is it off? Yes, it's off. Don't touch it. You okay. I'm going to try to get it. Uh-huh. So put I it under the water. Put it under the water. It's going to smoke. Yep. Okay, now pour it on the sink. It's going to get heavy. And then you can just put it on down in there. We'll do them dishes in a minute, buddy. Yes, high five. Yeah. Period. I cooked my breakfast. <laughs> yes, you <Hi>. did. <laughs> okay, go enjoy. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. I want you to show the audience real quick. Oh no, oh no. You see that, yo? I did that. <laughs> I did that. Period. I did that. You did. You did. I did that. that. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> okay, babies. So I haven't checked in since earlier when me and the kids was on the vlog. Um, I'm about to get ready because right when I was doing that, my cousin Tasha texted me. She in town, y'all. I'll have to go to training today. But she was like, we need to talk. It's real bad. Not real bad, but she was like, we need to talk real bad. 
I miss you. We ain't spend no time. Y'all know she moved to Atlanta a couple months ago. I haven't even been down there to see the house. <laughs> I haven't seen her in a few months. So therefore, she's here and she was like, you need to meet me for a drink today. It's on me. So I'm going to get ready to go out to get a drink with her. Um, I'm still PMSing. So <sighs> I'm really not in the mood to like go out and like drink. I'm not hungry. So I'll probably get an appetizer and let her give me a drink and i'm gonna put on something chill laid back or whatever i still ain't got no wax under my arms i ain't got no wax nowhere i'm hairy y'all i've really been staying down i really i got so much on my mind between the move between where i want to move how i want to move when i want to move all in that like stressful now my daddy calling lord between my mom and my dad my kids i need a vacation i need a break i feel like i've not had no real um self-care time like i've not had no real relaxation i've not had no real like y'all know what my type of fun is my type of fun is like spa my type of fun is good food my type of fun is like movies dates game days um my type of fun is a beach <laughs> i've not i've not i haven't I did go to Target the other day, and I still got to go back because I need some paper towels and stuff. I need to get boxes. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, um, I had got some Tresemme because I'm going to have to have a wig sale. I need to get rid of a lot of these wigs. I got so many wigs. I need to get rid of them. They just in my way. They in my face. I'm going to be getting rid of a whole lot of stuff in this garage. A lot of stuff, I'm just going to take the Goodwill. I ain't even gonna hold you unless it's like brand brand new i'll probably do like a giveaway here or there because i know i got stuff from y'all remember when i sold clothes i got stuff from when i sold clothes in that garage i got all kind of shit in that garage i got bundles frontals closure i got all kind of stuff in there okay but anyways when i went to target i picked up me some more micellar water and i picked up me some more eos lotion y'all this is my second bottle this one is empty okay i love this stuff down i love it down i love it so much it makes my skin feel so good and the shampoo and conditioner that i use on my wigs is the tresemme one um y'all know that though if y'all be watching the actual wig videos and then the micellar water that i like to use is the one that replumps it cleanses removes makeup plus um it makes the skin look replumped so it's this one this is the one that i'm always picking up they got different ones that do different things like help you glow so this one has hyaluronic acid and lo in it i like this one and i realized that i've been using this stuff like it's water because i be cleaning my brushes with it and i cleaned my brushes the other day and i was like i'm acting like this stuff cheap when it is not in fact this little bottle is like 11 dollars, i think or eight dollars or something like that like what the crap no stuff not cheap at all but anyways i'm gonna get ready i'm gonna find me something to wear get ready and then take a shower and we gonna go Okay, y'all, so I'm doing my little makeup look that I do all the time. Well, not all the time. I've been doing it here lately for the summertime. And it's my make makeup, no makeup, 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 <laughs> no makeup, makeup look. And all I'm doing is putting on like a little concealer, a little blush, and I call it a day. I set this and I, I literally call it a day. And I ain't even finna do the extra shit like I be doing every other day with this because I'm just finna go out for a drink with my cousin. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I don't know if this looks a mess or not, but I really don't even care because I'm finna have my glasses on anyway. 
and I'm just about to go to freaking Applebee's <laughs> like we're literally going to Applebee's so it ain't like I need um, nothing spectacular um when I leave there I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stop by the Target oh I forgot all about my freaking lace that I needed to clean up and I don't I need to go get the brush real quick. So hold on. I got on gloves. I don't know if I want to wear it like to the front like this or back. Like this. Now part of me want to wear it back. Because I just don't feel like it getting on my nerves. Like put it behind my ear. Brush it back. And let that be the moment. The moment. And this cap a little bit big. So it'll be like scrunched up in the back. But okay. We should be done after this. And like I said, I'm putting on my, my glasses because I don't got on no contact. So this is what it's going to be like to go get a few drinks. I feel like I like this better than, because y'all know this is like my favorite hairstyle. The little half up, half down styles is my go-to. Like seriously, but I really need to clean this damn lace. And I really don't feel like it. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna do it. Can I go get my package? Yeah. Where you finna go? Um, me, Tasha, after you. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, you, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's okay. That's how I get my hair. My mm -hmm. Okay. I'm spraying this Good Scent Solar Floral in my hair. I cleaned up the lace so it looks good. It looks better than it did. But I'm spraying this in my my lace. And the scent that I got on is the number four by Thomas Cosmala. That's my base scent right now. Um, but I feel like since it's in the Baccarat family, I'm gonna put on this oil that I get from my brother and my sister-in-law. Put that all over. Okay. And then I'm just gonna rub that in. And that should be it. Now, that's it. That's all, cause we ain't doing too much. We ain't going too far. So those three cents flow together but yeah y'all these i was on live and i was talking about these um this scent from tj maxx and y'all know i be getting a lot of these different scents from tj maxx and i'll be using them as hair perfumes i like fragrances that are sweet and i like fragrances that can mix with a lot of different fragrances because i like coming up with my own different combinations i like to smell different i like this i don't like to smell the same so yeah that, that's what i be doing so i got on that um i'm gonna get up i'm gonna put my shorts on i got on i only got two gold bangles left and i said that i was gonna go to target because i be getting my gold bangles and stuff from target i said that i was gonna go to target and i was gonna get some more and remember i was looking for a watch because i want a gold watch that goes with my jewelry as of now, I don't have one. And I don't want to wear this one. And that's why I've been wearing this so much. Because it puts me in the mind of a watch. But I've been needing some on my wrist. And I like to sound jingly. <laughs> like, I just don't feel like a girl. Unless I sound like, you know, it needs to be da -da -da, ringy, ringy, ringy. It needs to be sound like that when I'm going out the door. So, that's how I like, like it. 
Um, I got on my ring that Mariah got me for Valentine's Day. And I don't think I'm going to put on any more. I know I need to put some more lotion on my hand, though. I'm going to put a ring. Just a ring. I don't know if I had showed y'all, but y'all remember, y'all know I love Chanel jewelry. So, I got this beautiful Chanel ring. It's like a classic. Can y'all see it? Hold on. Okay, focus, 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 focus. It looks like this. It's so pretty, y'all. And this thing is not focusing. It's trying to focus on too much at one time. I don't know, but this is the ring, y'all. It looks good. It looks really good. Um, I have three different Chanel rings. I don't know where the other one's at. But I'm probably going to put on this. No, I'm not. Because I got on this. I just need something on the other hand. Like, dang. That would be great. This one. But that's not enough. Once I put on one ring, it's like I got to keep on. Shit. <sighs> I don't got on no nails, though. So, it ain't like I really do. I don't have to. It Like, what, you really don't need to be drawing no attention to these nails. I don't know if I want to get my nails polished, get them done. I'm not the press-on girly. I used to wear press-on so much when I was a young girl. Um, all I wore was press-on, press-on, press-on. But I do need to get my nail bed a break. I love getting my nails done. I love getting my nails done. Y'all know I love getting my nails done so bad. But it has not been loving me. Okay, we're finna get ready to get up out of here. It's 612. Let me text her and see if she there. Y'all on the way. Okay, and then let me put on my shorts and put on my socks and put on my shoes. And then, yeah, we'll be about here. Okay, y'all. So I'm finna get ready to head out the door. It is 638. I text Tasha and said, Are y'all on the way? And this girl ain't text me back. But I'm finna head on out the door. I just put a little flat iron over my hair. I put my oil on. I got my fragrance on. And I got some new fragrances from Scentbird. Which I'm pretty sure y'all seen that sponsorship at the beginning of this video. Girl. These fragrances they sent me are, smell so freaking good. Like I'm I already know two bottles, bottles I'm getting for sure. This the Maker Lover. I want and this Monsera Perry, um, this Roses Vanille, this one right here, I want this. Yes, I want it, I want it, I want it. And I haven't even smelled the other two. But I'll smell them later on tonight once I get um, back home. But this is the lip combo. I just got on the MAC Chestnut liner and then I put on the MAC please me gloss and then i got on the anastasia and the color Nikki on top and then i just added me a little clear gloss on top of that so that's the look gloss look okay let me grab my bag i'm gonna put that brown little baton bag on i hope this pad stay in place i ain't even playing with it i'm not playing with it today you feel me we're not playing with it today but let's get out the door let's go get a drink and we'll chop it out now. So I had to pull up to Target first because I gotta go ahead and give me some damn tampons. I know that's TMI, but baby, that's what I gotta get. And then I think I made a list too because I'ma get some um, paper towels. I wanna say I made a list. Yeah. Damn, paper towels, lunch detergent, boxes, tampons, work gloves, and some trash bags. That's the whole goddamn list. Dang, I should have went to Walmart. Not no damn Target. Hold on. So Tasha just texted me and said that she gonna reschedule. Bitch, I'm a missed train for no reason. I'm in the Target. I wanted to go get a drink. And now you're talking about you're gonna reschedule? Probably just gonna go get a drink by myself. <sighs> that just pissed me off. I ain't gonna believe her no more. So next time she fucking texts me, talking about she wanna do this, this, and that, bitch. If you ain't already there, 
We ain't doing none of that. None of it. None of that shit. Oh, shit. Anyways. Okay. I'm going to call y'all back. take off these clothes and get myself in the bed um i had an overall good day went to Applebee's, had some wonton tacos and like that little five dollar margarita and y'all them little cheap drinks i had one drink it got me lit okay lit um i don't know if it's a good lick though because it's like a cheap alcohol but the wonton tacos always good um and I realize now, like, you know how back in the day, like, Applebee's used to be my little spot. And granted, I know it's been out for a long time, but that thing is ratchet. That thing is ratchet. It's definitely something, like, if you just be like, okay, I just want to go grab a drink, grab something to eat. I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess the older I get, the more I like my upper echelon restaurants, like, you know, we go downtown, we go to Easy Bistro, we sit at the bar, Wooden City, Stir, um, the things like that. That's what I like. Okay, like in this city, we don't got like SCKs, but we got a roof, Chris. We got um, a place called Hennens, which is a um, steakhouse. We got like Jay Lizanda's and stuff like that or whatever. But we don't really got like no no booze, no SCKs and shit like that, but... You know, your girl likes some food. I sound like I'm on Pokemon or what is that? Is that Pac-Man? <laughs> Don't that sound like that? Y'all ever play the second Dreamcast and play Pac-Man? That's what it sound like. But anyways, I'm gonna get ready for bed. Um, my kids are here. I'm gonna tie my hair up, take this little bit of makeup that I did put on my face off my face, and relax. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Put my nightgown on. I'm a nasty girl. I'm a nasty girl. Uh 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 uh. Okay, y'all. I love y'all. And I'll talk to y'all tomorrow so we can get more into this vlog. But I'm kind of feeling this straight hair. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I like it a lot. Good night. Hey guys, great rising, great rising. So, um, oh, my back. My back has been hurting me so bad, y'all. It's actually 2.25 in the afternoon. Um, I got a meeting with my accountant at 3. I got to be at Mariah's game at um, 5.30. And then I have to be at training after that. So, yeah, pretty busy day. It's just me and Bryce. I need to get some water. I need some fruit. Yeah, I have been just so over food. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I got a lot of stuff. I keep saying it. I keep saying it. I got a lot of stuff to do. Every time I go vlog, it's so much to do. It's so much to do. Girl, it is. It really is. There's so much to do. So much to be done. And I was thinking this morning, because I saw somebody commented on my vlog, and I deleted the comment because, look, I don't have time for negative Nancy's right now where I am in my life. Like, have y'all ever been at a point in your life where you don't know what's next? Like, you just really, like, the only thing that I could do right now at this point in my life is just be like, God, I am giving you full control. Like, I really don't know what's next like i i really don't know what's next like i don't 
I can't even think about it. Like, I can't even put what's next together. Like, I don't know what's next. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what's next. I don't know what's next. And all I can do is just have, like, other faith to know that God is going to see through <laughs> and God is going to see through and God don't play about me. Like that's literally all that I can say and I have to see through and I have to have faith and I have to be strong and I have to just like, cause I don't know. Like I know everybody wants to be an entrepreneur and stuff and me, you know, I got thrown into entrepreneurship and I've just kind of been handling it as I as it has come as I can. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's a lot of things that I can say right now. It's a lot of things that I can say right now. But what I can say to those of you who are watching, if you are watching um, me and you have been watching me over time. I want you to understand the importance of how your network determines your network. Who you are with, who you spend your time consuming, who you spend your time watching, the people that you spend the majority of your time with determine how your life is going to look on a day-to-day -day basis. And if what you want for your life is not aligning with what you think like if what your life looks like on a day-to-day -day basis is not what you thought it would look like or is supposed to look like then you know you have to do the necessary things to change that because that's the beauty in it right that's the beauty in all of this like we have the ability to change if you don't like how you look change it if you don't like that you overweight your clothes fit too tight change it if you don't like something about your hair change it if you don't like where you live in that change it you have the ability to create a shift in your life right so that was a message for me too that was a message for me. And it's not necessarily that I don't like a whole lot of stuff in my life. Because I haven't gotten on here like, oh, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like that. Um, I think I've just been in a place of just like the unknown. Like, I've literally been in the place of just like the unknown. And the what now? And I remember going to... When we went to Sarah Jake's um, thing in Atlanta, there's a price, he ready to go. When I went to Sarah Jake's thing in Atlanta and Crystal got on there and she said like, every new level is gonna require you to start from the bottom at that level. And I felt that wholeheartedly. But I really need to journal on that. I really need to like go into my journal and like go into my mind and like really figure out what that means to me you know what i'm saying like what does that really mean to me so yeah yeah but your girl is getting ready oh for all of this that i gotta do uh y'all y'all know the other thing when you got so many clothes is you still don't got nothing to wear Nothing in my closet is appealing to me. That's why y'all keep seeing me wear. I keep wearing the same three shirts, the same three shorts, the same three. I have clothes. I have things. I have things, but none of them are like what I want. I don't know. Like, yeah, it's not what I want. But then, girl, you talking about you don't even know what the hell you want. But what do you want? What do you want? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, it's 2 31. I mean, I'm gonna spend a little bit talking to y'all. I'm gonna brush my hair. And we're gonna get up out of here. Um, 
yeah okay let me go get my baby ready let me brush his hair because he he wants some twists in his head and i gotta find somebody to do him some two strand twists i mean i can do him some two strand twists honestly i might just go buy the stuff and sit my baby down and do him some damn two strand twists tomorrow why would i pay somebody to do something i could do myself i can do it myself so i'm gonna do it myself Okay, y'all, so I'm running into the hair store because Bryce wants some two strangers. Why well, they got pictures of everybody who been stealing on the store? Girl, they got pictures of everybody who been stealing on the store door. <laughs> oh my goodness. But, um, okay. I gotta get some stuff to twist up Bryce's hair. And they got music playing, so I'll be back. Pretty baby, won't you meet me by the beam? Too early, maybe later you could show me things. You know what it is, I'm never off visit. Windy City, she blowing me kisses. Too early, baby, won't you meet me by the beam? Too early, maybe later you could show me things. Later you could show me things. Is it? 